Assalamu alaikum, this is a tutorial for downloading and configuring from that so that you can run a static analysis on your code repository. So here we are on the sonarcube.org page. You can click on the download button. And here there are several different versions that are available to community developer. And for me, community worked well because it, it happened to have all like major support for all of the languages. So you can just go ahead and go ahead and download it by clicking on the download for free button. Right, so now this will begin to download a zip file. And this will take several minutes because the zip file is of 264 MB, so it might take some time. Right, so the installation is done. Now go ahead to your downloads folder and extract the folder. Right. So once that is done, open the extracted folder and uh, we go into the bin folder. And here there are different versions for different OSs. I'll go into the Windows folder and here I have to open the command prompt. And I have this is the Sonar Cube uh, patch file that needs to be executed in order to set up the server. So I'll type in the start dot Sonar command in the command prompt open in this folder. And this will begin a procedure that will set up a local server on your port 9000 on your machine so that you can easily access it through your browser. So this might take some time. Okay, so Sonar Cube is up and running. And now head over to your browser and go to the URL localhost port 9000 and here is the admin panel by default the credentials are admin admin so the password is admin2 once entered this will give you the option to update your password so do that Now this is your dashboard page because we haven't we haven't configured any projects up till now. So this is what I get. And it shows me options to create your projects from these sources, but I don't want that. I want to create a project manually. I can even adjust the settings there on the admin panel. So I'll just go with the manual uh, project creation and instead of the ones from GitHub and GitLab. Yes, so I'll need to provide a project name. I'll just keep it e-commerce for now. And then it will ask me whether I want to integrate it with any of these tools. But I don't want that, I'll just go with the local option. Yes, and now here I need to generate a token that will identify my project and the analysis and its corresponding analysis. So I'll need to provide an identifier for that token. So I can name it any, I, I'll just name it the same as the project name and click on the generate button to get the token. Now you can copy paste this value somewhere, so just you have it handy. Or if it's to right. Um, so we click on continue. Now the project that I am, uh, I'll be scanning is a hospital man management system that is a web-based project written in PHP. So I'll select the PHP framework and I'll select Windows as my OS. And uh, here I need to download the scanner. If I'm using this for the first time, I'll need to download the scanner zip file. Uh, if not, uh, if you do the scan later, then you'll al you al you already have it downloaded. So, yes. So open the link, and click on your relevant OS file. I'll open the Windows 64 bit so that it begins downloading. This will be downloaded relevantly fast, uh, comparatively fast. Uh, 
the installation, the download of the scanner is done. Um, locate the zip file in your downloads folder and extract it. Once it has been extracted, open the folder and go into the bin folder. Now you need to uh, have this scanner batch file executed from anywhere on the system file added to environment variables. And you can go into your environmental va uh, environment variable from your settings and add a new path. Uh, I'm doing it again even though I, were, I have it already done because I configured it earlier too. But add it over in the path right like this and click on OK. And now this sonar scanner batch file can be executed from anywhere on your machine. So from any folder it would work. We need that because we need to uh, execute the scanner from the folder of the source code. So that's why. So may, you might need to restart, but usually it uh, it just gets done. Right, so this is the command that you need to execute in your source code folder. So you'll need to copy it. And in the sonar.login part, you need to insert your generated token. In this case, um, I'll just copy and paste it in the same notepad file, uh, the entire command. But in this case, the token is the same. So the token I have here, I can copy and paste it, but it would make no difference because the token is the same. But if you rerun your analysis with a different token, then you might need to alter this value with the token that you want to use, right? To the source code uh, folder. And here's my source code. I op I'll open the command prompt over here. And I'll copy paste that command, which I had on my notepad. And this will begin the entire analysis project. And you can see the debugging messages over here and the updates too. This will take approximately five minutes. Great, now it's almost finished. Great, it's almost done because the page is updated too and we can see that it took approximately five minutes to do the scan. And here the page has been updated as well. Over here earlier there were instructions, but right now it has updated, has been updated to a blank page, which means that our analysis is complete. Here is the link to the API that tells how the report was processed. Now head over to your dashboard by clicking on the sonar cube button and open up your project name. And here you can find all the tabs and files. Right now it's all empty because um, it, it takes a bit of time to refresh it and sync the analysis and show it on the website. The code folder is populated, but the rest is just empty right now. So uh, this will obviously refresh in a bit. Oh, here it is. It has been refreshed, and as you can see in the major section, I can, can see. Okay, so I'll head over to the bugs panel, and here I can see HTML related issues. For example, the header is missing in the tables, and other stuff, and I can, I can even see the file names. So in the forward password.php file, this issue is there. And I can see its severity too. I can specify and I can open a different severity uh, specification. Okay. Mm, this is the code smell panel, which indicates that there are problems in the code that might be reflected somewhere else too. So they all need to be fixed by refactoring. And yes, these can be explored as well. Currently there are zero vulnerabilities in the project. Um, and we can go into the security hotspots panel. This shows very useful information. For example, currently it shows authentication issue, which shows that the 
password was hard coded and here it is as it can be seen and it also shows the corresponding CVE entry and what can be done to fix it. So that is all very useful stuff. Um, this is another panel that shows that there might be some denial of service uh, potential attack. There can be a potential attack and I think the issue is that the um, regular expression processing engine is subject to that attack. So you can find out more by looking into the details. Um, and here we have a remote code injection vulnerability as well. I write. So you have to click on the to review button to actually show the vulnerability. And here in the materialize.js file, there is a function that is being called and maybe that can execute some code that from remotely. Uh, and this is weak cryptography issue. And here the issue is with the pseudo random uh, number generator function, which is security sensitive and might not be generating numbers that randomly. And here is the encryption of sensitive data. Its priority is low. And here just the issue is that the HTTP protocol is being used instead of HTTPS. And in the measures tab, this shows the, statist the statistical analysis that has been done and the ratings and the severity level and all of that stuff. Basically, all the metrics that have been an analyzed during the scan. So the project rating is E, which is pretty bad. Uh, right, activity panel is empty uh, because we haven't done anything on the top of our recent scan. So this is mostly empty and maybe when you do other stuff, this will get populated. Right, so this is pretty much it. You can explore the rest of the things by yourself because I haven't explored them too. So this was good, thank you.